This video will be about my experiences at the first day of MineCon 2013, Saturday. And included in this video will have both photos and video of both the Orange County Convention Center, the general venue, the expo hall. I have a bunch of photos of the different costumes that people wore because the costume contest was this first day of MineCon. A number of photos of friends and people that I met at the con, and of course some photos and videos of some of the mine crackers. So let's get started. If you manage to come into the front door of the Orange County Convention Center, there'd be a nice Welcome to Mine Con sign to greet you. The Convention Center is it's friggin' huge. There's no other way to describe it. It was three stories, all of them huge, and like, there was a food court down on the bottom story, and then most of the main kind of expo was happening on the second floor, but there was some stuff on the third floor as well. I have some video here that just kind of, like, shows a bit of the convention hall floor, but it is the case that I, the parking, there was, like, a big parking lot in the back that I went to to park on the first day, and it took me 10 to 15 minutes to walk from my car through the building out to the front entrance of the MineCon area. And it's, I can't tell you how big the Expo Hall Convention Center buildings are. There's actually multiple buildings. MineCon took place in the West Building. Inside the main Expo Hall, there were a number of booths, different shops where you could buy things and different bits of art and things set up, and so I've just got a few photos that kind of give a sense of what it was like in this main hall out here. Uh, but for example, there is the Think Geek booth where you could buy different Minecraft memorabilia and things. I actually didn't spend any money at all on MineCon other than the ticket to like go. I, I brought my own snacks so I didn't even have to spend food at the convention center and I was staying with my mom so I didn't need a hotel. And uh, so that worked out kind of great. I guess I paid for gas to like drive over and back, but that's about it. And, but at the same time, yeah, there was, there were a number of things that you could buy and the art, like they had crazy Minecraft artwork and sculptures. And so I'm showing some of the things that they had paintings on the wall that I just thought were really interesting. There's one that looks like American Gothic, for example. And so I found that to be really interesting that they had kind of their own art section. Uh, I took a picture of myself over next to a Minecraft witch because I like the witches in Minecraft and of all the different kind of mob statues they had. That was the one that I wanted to get a photo with. There was a big Lego section because I guess a Lego has a number of Minecraft sets and they had some Lego stuff on the floor where you could then like go and stand on Lego stuff that they were building on the floor and it's kind of zoomed in. So that gives you a sense of kind of the main expo hall kind of area. Oh, and when you first walked into the main expo hall, they had a kind of Minecraft petting zoo set up that was a very cute area. And so in addition to the photos of this, I also have some video of my first trip into the expo hall. So let's go ahead and roll that. How much as big as the, the, the opening ceremony? No. Huh? The opening ceremony room is like sometimes bigger than this. I didn't see it in my car. The walls are moving. Yeah. <laughs> it's a petting zoo. <laughs> Mushrooms. While you're filming, say something on camera, Vaughn. Something on camera, Vaughn. Woohoo! I guess now I'll transition to some photo of friends. Here is Vaughn next to a creeper statue in the expo hall. I got a chance to meet some more friends, uh, including people from the fan server. So here's a photo of me and Meheyu, as well as me and Thungon217, uh, who is a map maker uh, who I've played some things with. He was also, he made an appearance on MC Gamer's hosted show, uh, The Ultimate Miner, back in the day. Mark IRL is someone that I met at PAX earlier this year who works for Mojang, and he was also working the convention floor, and so here he is talking to Vaughn. Poet Plays is a YouTuber that I first met at PAX and who was also out at MineCon, and so here's a photo of me and Poet. And he had been traveling around with a group of folks that included Nia and Misconduct from Two Girls, One Minecraft. Here's a photo of some others I was hanging out with. On the couch, we've got Dire Dwarf, Ebby, Brian, once again, and Paige. 
You may have seen in one of the earlier photos at the entrance, they had kind of like this smoke effect as you went into the expo hall. For whatever reason, they had this crazy smoke going the entire day, and so by the end of the day, it was actually getting kind of smoky around this area. It seemed kind of superfluous, unnecessary smoke to have on the whole time, but oh well. I guess now we can transition into the costumes phase. I was trying to occasionally snap candid photos of costumes that I saw throughout the day. We've got like an ender dragon and someone in a pig costume and a mushroom. And, but there was a costume contest at the end of the day. And so we'll see that in a moment. Uh, here's another ender dragon costume that was online. I think these people were online to get autographs from Sky Does Minecraft. And this is, I think this is one of the costume winners that was a Steve riding a mushroom that was very cute that I managed to get a good shot of just outside in the hallways of the expo hall. The actual con costume contest itself happened in the evening, uh, hosted by Lydia, and basically each costume person got up on stage and had a chance to talk about their costume and kind of be interviewed on camera. You can see that there were tons of people in the costume contest in the main hall to watch that event. I just peeked in for a little bit and just took some pictures of all the costumes who were waiting online. There were some good ones, some creative ones out there, including another one of the winners who was this huge Ender Dragon costume that entire family fit in. So that was pretty cool. But now let's transition into the Mind Crackers portion of the show. I had various photos of the Mind Crackers signing autographs and different things. There are a number of them in this photo. See how many you can pick out and recognize. But this is a good place to go ahead and set up some video I took that showed how as the Mind Crackers moved around, they influenced the entire convention. I'm guessing they got told to some of the Mind Crackers just moved. And as a result, a huge crowd of people just moved with them. This area was full with people trying to get signatures from Pyro and B-dubs and Paws and Jenny and Doc. And now everyone is moving on to wherever they cleared out to. Woohoo! In any case, back to more photos. I finally got a photo of Baj, who I had missed taking a picture of the previous night at the Minecraft party. Nebris had stopped by the group that I was hanging out with, and so of course I asked to get a photo of him with kind of the shifty eyes of his Minecraft character. But at the moment I snapped the photo, he looked down and realized he was looking right at some guy's crotch, and so I got this funny face. Dinnerbone is whitelisted on the Minecraft server, and so I guess he counts among this group, and here he was signing some autographs. Here's MC Gamer stopping by to chat with some of the folks that I was hanging out with. And of course, Kurt was always very popular. Here he was talking to a costumed person, but then just over to the right is Axel Rosie, who wanted to present him a gift. She is a talented artist in the Minecraft community, and so I've got some video of that. Let's roll that. So I managed to collect even more signatures on my Frisbee disc this day, but we're not done yet. There's another day of Minecon coming up, and so stay tuned for even more footage, and I'll talk about the signatures in a future episode. Thanks for watching.